Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Now, I've shuffled all the cards. I'm going to be doing a weekend collective read. I've already pulled the main cards. You got Enlightenment. Let's see. Enlightenment, surprise, and chaser. Yeah. So somebody's being enlightened about somebody. It's going to come as a surprise, but they're going to chase you, whatever this is. Let's see. Oh, already see the moon, the world. And the two of wands. Yeah, you've opened up. You've, um, whatever's being revealed here, it's opening up, um, like your, your, the way you think about your possibilities. Like you see the world as your oyster and the sky is the limit. So the moon. Is your emotions, subconscious, mind, your intuition. Mm. Somebody could have been projecting on you. Be careful for that. But you're unstoppable right now. Letting go of illusions. Letting go of the past. This could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Something here, your intuition is telling you something about someone or something. And then you have the world here. Yeah, something's coming to fruition for you. Something you've manifested, a completion, mm -hmm. an accomplishment, uh, unity, feeling whole. Yeah, you're 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 walking into a new phase in your life yeah you've learned some kind of karmic lesson yeah from saturn and saturn's in pisces right now so the projecting piece the emotional piece is big right here something about water too you could be around a lot of water or need to be around water or drink more water Yeah, some kind of karmic cycle is coming to an end. This could be um, with a Capricorn or an Aquarius. But you also have all the fixed signs on here. So um, that's Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. And then the Two of Wands. Again, you, have, you feel like you have the world in your hands. And you're stable. This is somebody who plans before you make a, de a, a decision. And you're grounded in your decision and your actions, whatever this is. I like this. I like it a lot. Okay, what's coming as a surprise? Oh, four of Cups. Oh, Seven of Swords. Six of Cups. Yeah. Mm. 
something you wasn't seeing clearly or you were ignoring the red flags. Mm. Yeah, seven of wands is a betrayal. Someone's being sneaky, lying. So it could be gossip and rumors. Somebody could be copying you. Yeah, this is a judgment call here. Somebody could be married. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Well, they're just already in another relationship. They could be getting a divorce, but it's not final, perhaps. This is an Aquarius card. Six of Cups. Yeah. Um, I feel like this person's coming in with some kind of gift or this, somebody's uh, reminiscing about the time that you guys spend together. It's very nostalgic. It could feel like a childhood um, love uh, or this could be a friend. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a family member. Um, or something about whatever this is, is familiar. It was easy to ignore the red flags because it was familiar. This could be an Aries. Uh, okay, let's see what else. Five of Cups. Mm. The magician and the star. Wow, a lot of Aquarius energy. So somebody just wanted you for your looks or what you could offer. You could be popular or have some kind of thing. You don't have to be. But um, it, it, I mean... <sighs> I just feel like whatever this is, it's um, it's helping you grow and evolve to your true self, your authentic self. You're healing. Somebody wants a renewal if you've already broken this off or you're not with this person or somebody from the past. Six of Cups can be from the past. I mean, you gave, you, whatever this is, you gave this person hope. They might look up to you in some kind of way. Like you um, inspired them. Hmm. Well, somebody's just getting ready to tell you a truth that can be very painful. And then you got the magician. They could see you as resourceful. Oh, you're the alchemist here. You they see that you're working on your dreams, working on becoming who you're meant to be, growing and evolving. You're very balanced. They see you as somebody who's learning stuff, creating stuff, creating opportunities. Mercury has been in retrograde, so that's an also another indication of the past. And definitely with love and children. This could be somebody you got children with. It doesn't have to be. Um, but this is the Gemini Virgo card. And so you could either be dealing with a Gemini Virgo, you have Gemini Virgo placements heavily in your chart, or this person does. But either way, Mercury has been retrograde in Virgo as well. And so there's, um, something's coming back, um, uh, a healthier start, a new start, getting more organized. 
or if somebody's trying to gather their thoughts or they want to come clean about something maybe that they didn't tell you about or they wasn't upfront with from the beginning. And it could come as a surprise, but it's bringing you in some enlightenment that's going to help you grow and evolve. A lesson learned here. Um, hmm. This could be old. It doesn't have to be new. This could be something that already happened. Mm. And maybe this person is just reminiscing. Yeah, and then you got the five of cups. Someone said. Yeah. Some kind, of, yeah, somebody misses you. I mean, they're sorry. This person doesn't do anything but think about how they fucked this up. This person could have been hard to please. This also could have been a situation where things weren't really that bad. Maybe this person is hung up on a past relationship and they wasn't able to give fully to this relationship. And you've overlooked this as a as potential because they wasn't giving you what you wanted how you want it. Virgo can be very picky that way. You know, like your expectations might be too high. Well, this is how this person feels about you. And they didn't, like, you didn't even try to put in the effort. Could be, okay, it doesn't have to be. That is just a storyline that's coming through here. Let's do some clarifiers. Wow. Wow, you got the two of wands over the fucking two of wands in reverse. What is this? Okay. Let's just break it down. You got the four of wands over the moon. Somebody wants to marry you. They want a happy life, happy family, happy life, a reunion. They want to come back home. Now, you could be meeting somebody at a party. I'm getting the feeling like somebody, uh, you know, one of your friends or something setting you up. <laughs> And you go to a party or something and you meet this person or a wedding. I mean, but this person wants some kind of success with you. Or again, you are in this energy of... Um, I don't want to say drowning yourself in work to forget about this, but something about focusing on your work now. You're more focused on work than relationships because you're healing. And then you have the king of pentacles. Yeah, you've learned something here, a, a big lesson. And this could be putting an end to some kind of karmic cycle. Yeah, I, I, I am getting the feeling that you're on the verge of becoming very successful. You could have a lot of people missing you, seeing you in this new energy, like, damn, I missed out. Like, they didn't take you seriously. That's why I say this could be friends, family, lovers. This could be old
Yeah, you're gaining some kind of stability and security. You're really, really focused on your, your, your money right now. But this is what threw me off. Because you feel like you have the world in your hands, but then you don't. Or maybe this is why these people are falling off and in regret. Because they have fears. Fear of change, indecisive, restricted. Field negotiations, lack of activity. Or maybe you took a break while you was in this relationship, you could have felt like you've lo you lost your drive for whatever goals you had. And that was what the clarity or enlightenment was that you maybe felt like it wasn't worth what you're working on. And maybe this person wasn't willing to help grow or help, um, you know, they didn't have their own stuff going on. Or it could be that people didn't believe you. They didn't see your vision. They doubted you. They didn't think you was going to make it. But now that you are, you got a lot of people in regret. Hmm. Let's see what else. Ten of Cups. Um, where are you at? Now, Ten of Cups, the Magician again, and the Hanged Man in reverse. Yeah, you're just, you're just seeing things clearly now. Now I'm I'm picking up that somebody might not be seeing somebody as potential. Uh, this is going to be different for everybody. Obviously, if somebody is sneaky, conniving, lying, and in a relationship, and that's a current thing, I'm not really getting that right now. I think like this is how this person used to be. And they don't, you know, they weren't like that when they met you, but they're still healing from some kind of past trauma or pain. And whether you're aware of this or not, I feel like they move, it's the way they move that maybe you don't like or you don't agree with, or to you, it's not worthy of potential. Like you might not be seeing this person clearly. But they want the Ten of Cups with you. I'm telling you, happy family, happy life, happy wife. Marriage, long-term relationships, stability, security, harmony, abundance, domestic bliss, happily ever after. Caring, fun, children, like they want it all with you. Maybe they're not telling you this or they're not showing their feelings or emotions. Another way this could be, I think somebody's going to propose to you. <laughs> I really freaking do. But another way this could be is, again, that you are surprising people with your success. That's another theme that's coming up here. Like people did not believe you when you said, this is what I want to do. They didn't see your vision. And you're about to surprise a lot of people. But it's also going to bring people trying to come back and regret, all that. So you got the magician. Hmm.
Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, this person ain't no good. <laughs> Um, they might only be with you because they see your potential. Even if you don't, well, I'm not getting that, but or, or better yet, a better way to say that is that they're hiding that they see your potential. They're not telling you that. Like, they're not going to show you, like, I'm seeing um, money signs in somebody's eyes like, ooh, ooh, I picked a winner here. I'm a keeper, no matter what I got to do to do it. This person is not going to be easy to get rid of. They're not. Yeah. If you've already told them what, what you know, your, your dreams and your goals, They're going to try to find a way to manipulate shit to, to stay in your life. I mean, you can only get away with that for so long. But um, that's just what I'm picking up here. Now, the hangman's in reverse. Yeah, you're all fucking done with this person. you're like sayonara I really am not getting that this is relational by the way I'm really getting that um, this is people that are in your close circle to be quite frank they just don't have the motivation that you do to build or create you got somebody copying you somebody projecting on you Somebody that doesn't see, you know, your vision. And somebody that wants to marry you, but they hid something from you. And whatever this is that you're about to find out, you're going to, it's going to be too much for you. Honestly, and you're not going to accept it. It's going to change the way you see this person if you're dating somebody right now. Again, this could be friends, family. Six of swords. Yeah, somebody wants to make up. But you got options. Lots and lots of options. Or this person does. And they might only just want to sleep with you. Or they think that sleeping with you is going to help make up. They're like, damn, if I could just get in them drops, I know I can. <laughs> I can change her mind or his mind. Somebody thinks that sex is going to fix this. Well, it's this person that has options. They still want you. Yeah, they think they they want to get to calmer waters with you. They want to make up. <sighs> but I think you're you're kind of over this. And this person still hasn't. Done the work. None of these people have. They run away from their problems. Yeah, I feel like these people drain your energy. You could feel, you might be able to feel these people, these old people from the past that you're letting go of.
Yeah, these people are procrastinating, trying to sell you a dream. I mean, for you, you know what you want. You're going for it. You're going to make it happen regardless. I, I heard this is your destiny. Nobody can take this from you. You got some people that might try, try to distract you, invite you out to parties and, you know, keep you away from what it is you're trying to build, trying to convince you. And then the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this new idea, new plan is going to be a success. It's going to give you ment mental clarity. Yeah, the truth. And it's going to bring in new people to your, your life. That's the popularity fame card. I mean, I wish there was a, a better message here. Maybe I can pull some um, advice. I mean, I really don't see this bothering you at all, to be quite frank. I mean, there is the Five of Cups here. There might be some sadness, but I really feel like this is old energy. I don't know why this is coming out now. Maybe somebody needed a reminder. Yep, look at that. Moving on. Here's your advice. Guide and light. I'll read the messages in a minute. Intimate discovery. Wow. Love is still trying to find his way in this bitch. I do feel like there's a possibility that you could be meeting somebody new. Maybe a friend's trying to hook you up or you're just going out being more engaging. Or it could be through the, this new opportunity. You're getting more access to people. More people see you. New people. Is bringing in this new energy, you know, people who are on the same page, on the same frequency. And um, this could bring in some kind of love offer. Maybe that's what other people are afraid of, too. That might sound silly, but you'd be surprised when people see your light. And again, I'm not saying that you don't. I just don't think it's your focus. Like, that's not what you're you're not thinking about that. And so you're like, whatever which is when love usually tends to come in. When you've given up or let go or you've healed or you've overcome something, you know? I feel like if this is bringing in new love, it's going to have all people going to be even more mad. More mad. And that's courtesy of the universe. All right, so moving on, I think I showed it, but Whatever, I'll show it again. Release the anchor of the past. Your heart will catch the winds of a new beginning. I mean, guiding light. Oops, sorry. Angels are celestial lanterns guiding your path. Trust in their divine il illumination. Just period. I'm telling you, your light is like booming right now. And people are like, damn, I shouldn't have never second guessed that bitch. <laughs> Intimate discovery. Surrender to love. Let passion be the compass that guides your exploration. Now, for the people who resonated with that story, I'm really picking this up. Be careful with uh, the decisions you're making around love. You might not be seeing somebody clearly. This could be somebody that's not your usual type. Vet them. Don't give up so easy. You know, or, or that could be another lesson that you're learning about relationships. Is that... Um, you still have some work to do. You're not, or, 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 you know, maybe in the past, those kind of hardcore block yourself off um, 
um, patterns and behaviors were necessary because you were healing, right? You were doing the work. And sometimes that's what it takes. You got to cut the world off and be a little cold, right? But I would watch out for that storyline. If somebody resonated with that, that you're learning that, you know, you might be a little picky, okay? <laughs> it's time to open up a little bit more. Let love in. I'm not saying you got to accept uh, bad behavior, but go out, date, um, get to know people, open your energy up to the possibility of meeting somebody, but believe that the things that you've learned in the past, the skills, the knowledge, the wisdom that you have, you'll see it from a mile away and you'll know to cut it off. And when the right person comes in, at least you won't miss an opportunity because of these thoughts and beliefs that you have from past situations that are no longer resonating with you, okay? I, I get that message really, really strong because you could have new love coming in. I definitely think a past person that you are like so over is coming back because they see you doing well, unfortunately. Uh, and they might still be in a relationship, child. When I tell you ain't nothing changed about this person, ain't nothing motherfucking change. <laughs> they just coming back like with the same antics. Don't make no damn sense. You got family and friends doing the same thing. I'm picking up on that strong. This is not just a love reading. This is everybody. Everybody can get it. Somebody is hating. Really see hating. I'm not going to say that. I don't even see jealous and envy here. I think clarity. People are really seeing that you wasn't motherfucking playing. You said you was going to do something or accomplish something. They're seeing you like, oh, 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 is, is that? That thing down there. Um, you know, they're having an, an awakening and a realization about who the fuck you, you know, and they, they're going to try to come back, but it's going to be for all the real reasons. These people have not healed, they have not changed. Um, and you're going to see that, you're going to recognize that. And you might not want to be that. I don't know. So. As usual, family, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.